Welcome to a video from the .com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 20161 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel, formerly known as the uh, Fast Ring. Now there's some changes to start menu, some other interesting UI changes this time. So let's dive straight into that. So supposedly with this, the so supposedly when you the new start menu is supposed to have some of the accent colours dropped. So these colours dropped so they've got more transparent background, but I don't I'm not seeing that on mine. And I've um, enabled dark mode and added the extra colours in there. So something like the movies and TV should be a grey background. Now, I'm using this on a Surface Go and it's still showing the blue background. So I'm not sure why that's not working for me. So that's the first thing that's in there that's not worked. I've applied the build. Maybe I need to, to reboot. So it turns out the reason why I don't have the uh, new style is um, it's not enabled for everybody yet. So... Okay. No matter of digging around, won't enable that. So we'll look at that on a future video. So there's a um, new push notification style. So let me just send one through. So there you go. There's this style. It's got the icon on there and the close box. So these are the new push icons on there. So what you should be able to do with this new build, although it's not currently showing on mine, is you can alt tab between um, tabs in Edge. And uh, I'm on the Canary, but it's not showing on my um, on my build yet. So it's currently rolling rolling out on subset. So another feature that uh, my machine hasn't picked up on yet. And another feature that I should be able to show you, but I have to do a clean uh, user, a new user, is a redesign of the default uh, task menu. And another sh feature I'd like to be able to show, but I can't because I need to create a new user, is the redefined... Uh, taskbar so um, here by the way is what you, I should be seeing on the start menu as you can see mine still looks pretty much exactly the same as it did before so the old version so I'm not sure why that is uh, I'll try and find out and I've added the color effects and everything but I'm just not seeing those those effects on mine um, so there, here's the alt tab but here this is the new experience so when a user logs in they can uh, create an account uh, you can kind of customize those uh, icons on there so if you're an android user you get that with the um, your phone on there if you're um, a gamer you can have the xbox so i'm going to uh, try to probably do a separate video with that with some of the with the changes on it this is new here about uh, showing you that your um, your pc is monitored and protected is here in settings and you've got an op option to copy the diagnostic or the system information to the clipboard um, so that you can then use that if you need that for support. So the changes are the tablet mode setting has been um, taken from a quick hack action so you can't acc accidentally enable tablet mode um, if you're you haven't got a touch device which I suppose makes sense and they're applying the old the tablet mode from the that's in May 20 update to all devices so that's the little extra spacing on there so they've improved some stuff on they let me let's now talk about some of the other changes in this build they've um, they fixed issues with bug checks when pulling an Xbox controller in they fixed some issues with the crashing they fixed some edge issues some language issues they fixed the resetting PC issue uh, so if you're resetting your PC that hasn't been working, you can now do that again. They fit some uh, settings and some uh, audio crashing issues. And they fix some sound with settings like no input and things like that. Uh, there's still known issues with this. There's a um, hypervisor error um, if you, that can cause your system to crash. Uh, notepad might, might not reopen files automatically. Uh, there's... A, error with task manager showing zero cpu i think i've not got that on there okay that that was on the previous build it was showing it zero but that's okay on mine at the moment and um, there's some korean language input and some uh start menu flashes and color issues i personally haven't seen those issues but like my like i said my start menu is still showing the old style layout so i've got to figure that out maybe i'll show you that on the next video and i'll probably do a, a new video with the um default experience the out of box experience showing you these new customizations if there's something worth showing so thanks for watching this video you can find out more on our youtube channel on the digitalized i'm at is dixon on twitter